The Pamara Euro Nyungan languages are the most widespread family of indigenous Australian languages, containing perhaps 300 languages. The name Pamara Euro Nyungan is derived from the names of the two most widely separated groups, the Pama languages of the northeast and the Nyungan languages of the southwest. The words Pama and Nyunga mean man in their respective languages. The other language families indigenous to the continent of Australia are occasionally referred to, by exclusion, as non Pamara Euro Nyungan languages, though this is not a taxonomic term. The Pamara Euro Nyungan family accounts for most of the geographic spread, most of the Aboriginal population, and the greatest number of languages. Most of the Pamara Euro Nyungan languages are spoken by small ethnic groups of hundreds of speakers or fewer. Many, but not all, are considered endangered, and many have recently become extinct. The Pamara Euro Nyungan family was identified and named by Kenneth L. Hale, in his work on the classification of native Australian languages. Hale's research led him to the conclusion that of the Aboriginal Australian languages, one relatively closely interrelated family had spread and proliferated over most of the continent, while approximately a dozen other families were concentrated along the north coast. Typology Evans and McEnville describe typical Pomara Euro Nyungan languages such as Walpi Rea's dependent marking and exclusively suffixing languages which lack gender, while noting that some non Pomara Euro Nyungan languages such as Tankic share this typology and some Pomara Euro Nyungan languages like Unaua, a head marking and prefixing language with a complicated gender system, diverge from it. Reconstruction Proto Pomara Euro Nyungan may have been spoken as recently as about 5,000 years ago, much more recently than the 40,000 to 60,000 years indigenous Australians are believed to have been inhabiting Australia. How the Pomara Euro Nyungan languages spread over most of the continent and displaced any pre Pomara Euro Nyungan languages is uncertain. One possibility is that language could have been transferred from one group to another alongside culture and ritual. Given the cognatic relationships between groups, it seems that Pama Nyungan has many of the characteristics of a Sprachbund, indicating the antiquity of multiple waves of culture contact between groups. Dixon, in particular, has demonstrated that the genealogical trees found with many language families just do not fit in the Pama Nyungan family. Vocabulary In addition to Hale's 1982 list of words unique to Pama Euro Nyungan, and in addition to pronouns and case endings they reconstruct for the proto-language, Evans and McEnville report that while some of their roots are implausible, O'Grady and Tion, nevertheless provide hundreds of clear cognate sets with attestations throughout the Pomara Euro Nyungan area and absent outside. Phonology, proto pomara Euro Nyungan's phonological inventory, as reconstructed by Barry Alpha, is quite similar to those of most present-day Australian languages. Vowels, vowel length is contrastive only in the first syllable in a word. Consonants, proto pomara Euro Nyungan seems to have had only one set of laminal consonants. The two contrasting sets found in some present day languages can largely be explained as innovations resulting from conditioned sound changes. Nevertheless, there are a small number of words where an alveopalatal stop is found where a dental would be expected, and these are written say. There is no convincing evidence, however, of an equivalent nasal a plus or minus e or lateral ie. Retroflex consonants for most languages are written by prefixing a to the corresponding alveola, although a few, like pitch and juch jara, use an underline instead. Phonotactics Pamara Euro Nyungan languages generally share several broad phonotactic constraints single consonant onsets, a lack of fricatives and a prohibition against liquids beginning words. Voiced fricatives have developed in several scattered languages, such as Anjuthimri, though often the sole alleged fricative is and is analyzed as an approximant by other linguists. The prime example is Kalalagaya, which acquired both fricatives and a voicing contrast in them and in its plosives from contact with Fapuan languages. Several of the languages of Victoria allowed initial and only a Euro Ganea Euro also allowed initial and consonant clusters and, a trait shared with the Tasmanian languages across the Bass Strait. Classification At the time of European contact, there were some 300 Pomara Euro Nyungan languages divided across three dozen branches. 
What follows are the languages listed in Bowburn. Numbers in parentheses are the numbers of languages in each branch. These vary from languages so distinct they are difficult to demonstrate as being in the same branch, to near dialects on par with the differences between the Scandinavian languages. Conservative classification, down the east coast, from Cape York to the Bass Strait, there are, Kalalagaya, Paman, Yidini, Diabalik, Marik, Wakar euro kabik Tayubulik, Banjalanjik, and Girik, Anuan, Warat Hurik, Una Euro Curic, Gippsland, continuing along the south coast, from Melbourne to Perth, Yo Teotic, Kulinic, Lower Murray, Thura Yura, Mnini, Nyunjik, up the west coast, Kauchu, Kanayara Euro Manthata, Ngayata, Marengu, cutting inland back to Paman, south of the northern non Pamara Euro Nyungan languages, R, Numpana Euro Yapa, Warumungu, Waluwarik, Kalkatumjik, Mayani, encircled by these branches are, Waiti, the large inland expanse in the west, Arandic, in the north. Center, Karnik, in the west, Yardli, in the west, Magwari, Bargonji, separated to the north of the rest of Pamar Euro Nyungan is, Nyalayu, some of inclusions in each branch are only provisional, as many languages went extinct before they could be adequately documented. Not included are dozens of poorly attested and extinct languages such as Baron Binja and the Lower Burdekin languages. Bowburn and Atkinson Bowburn and Atkinson use computational phylogenetics to calculate the following classification, Arandica Euro Thura Euro, Arandic, Thura Euro. Desert Nyunjik, Marengu, Numpana Euro Yapa, Warumungu, Waiti. Galgadunjik, Ganai, Greater Marik, Gugawara, Herbert River. Dubal, Nwijek, Wargame, Kalalagaya, Karnik, Maklia Euro New England, Ngana, Paman, Rockhampton Euro Gladstone, Bioli, Turumbal, Southeastern Pamara Euro Nyungan, New South Wales Pamara Euro Nyungan, Tayubal Banjalang, Magwarik, Una Euro Kurai, North Coast Pamara Euro Nyungan, Gumbe and Girik, Wakar Euro Kabik, Victorian Pamara Euro Nyungan, Eastern Victoria, Kulina Euro Bungandich, Lower Murray, Warat Hurik, Southwest Pamara Euro Nyungan, Kachua Euro NHANDA, Mning, Nyunga, Pilbara, Ingada, Yalia Euro Bargonji, Imidhara Euro Yulanja Euro Yidinik, Yagambalik, Yulingu. A few proposed more inclusive groups, such as Northeast Pamara Euro Nyungan, Central New South Wales, and southwest Pamara Euro Nyungan, appear to be geographical rather than genealogical groups. According to Nicholas Evans, the closest relative of Pamara Euro Nyungan are the Garuan languages, followed by the small Tankic family. He then proposes a more distant relationship with the Ganwai Nguan languages in a macro family he calls Macro Pamara Euro Nyungan. However, this has yet to be demonstrated to the satisfaction of the linguistic community. Validity Dixon's skepticism, in his 1980 attempt to reconstruct Proto-Australian, R. M. W. Dixon reported that he was unable to find anything that reliably set Pamara Euro Nyungan apart as a valid genetic group. Fifteen years later, he had abandoned the idea that Australian or Pamara Euro Nyungan were families. He now sees Australian as a language area. Some of the small traditionally Pamara Euro Nyungan families which have been demonstrated through the comparative method, or which in Dixon's opinion are likely to be demonstrable, include the following North Cape York, Yidinik, Marik, Warat Hurik, Yungu, and Ghana, a clear connection between Yunaiwa and Waluwera, Wagaya, Yinjilanji, Bulanu. Part of Yura, he believes that Lower Murray, Arandik, and Kalkatumjik are small spraych boons. Mainstream rejoinders, however, the papers in Bowburn and Koch demonstrate about ten traditional groups, including Pamara Euro Nyungan, and its sub branches such as Arandic, using the comparative method. In his last published paper from the same collection, Ken Hale describes Dixon's skepticism as an extravagantly and spectacularly erroneous and wrong headed phylogenetic assessment which is so bizarrely faulted and such an insult to the eminently successful practitioners of comparative method linguistics in Australia, that it positively demands a decisive riposte.
In the same work Hale provides unique pronominal and grammatical evidence as well as more than 50 basic vocabulary cognates between the Proto-Northern and Mid-Alpamic family of the Cape York Peninsula on the Australian northeast coast and Proto-Ngayata of the Australian west coast, some 3,000 km apart, to support the pomara euro nyungan grouping, whose age he compares to that of Proto-Indo-European. See also, macro pomara euro nyungan languages. References Bibliography External links, IETS's Map of Australian Languages